as a factory in the heart of industrial Britain, a planned response to the world's demand for bicycles. We'll go into the chief designer's office and hear him tell two visitors just how a bicycle is made. I could go miles and miles on one of these, Father. So you should. There's a hundred years of bicycle manufacture behind that model. Rally here at the Nottingham Park produces about up to a million bikes a year, probably around 800,000. But we are capable in our busiest time of churning out 25,000 bikes a week. It's about 10 bikes a minute. Dave Yates of M Steel in Wall's End creates dream bikes. He's one of the UK's best frame builders, welding lightweight steel tubing into made-to-measure bikes. A major manufacturer wouldn't spend anywhere near as much time as we do on finishing off. The sort of people that buy bikes like this are enthusiasts. They're spending a lot of money. Um, this piece of steel is part of their dreams and it's got to be exactly as they saw it before I took the order. And what we're doing here is turning somebody's dreams into reality. How much does an average Dave Yates bicycle cost then? There's no such thing as an average Dave Yates bike. They're all different. They're all made to individual specifications. How many do you make a year? About six to seven hundred. 90% of the bikes we make here now are actually sold within the UK. I mean, the UK bike market is a very, very uh, active market. It's over two million bikes a year are purchased in this country. It was very much a children's market, but more and more now adults are buying bikes. And um, that's good because it's good for us and it's good for the environment and it's good for them because it'll keep them healthy. I think bikes are the way forward, basically. It's a perfect job for you than working for a bike company. Oh yeah, definitely. It's really encouraging to see so many bikes being made. Spokes are first fitted to the hub. And then laced into the rim. After being hand tightened, the spokes are firmly secured to the rim. When this is done, an inspector makes sure that each wheel runs through. His indicator tells him which spokes require tightening or loosening. It's a technique known to only a few. It's very, very difficult to put transfers like that on. Right, they rip easily. They're stuck on with varnish, and getting the varnish to just the right amount of tack to stick it on is, is quite difficult. They'll be left for 24 hours to certify, and then we put a coat of clear lacquer over, and that is again stoved. This is the, the finishing off stage, Dave. That's right, yes. What we do here is generally polish up the frame and make it presentable for the customer. So it's pretty much quality control? It, that, that's right, yes. It's the, the last inspection before the final inspector was the customer. Right, and this is the, the finished article down below? Yep, that's a frame built up into a bike. Fairly average, sort of good quality mountain bike. And how much is that going to set somebody back? You're looking at about two and a half thousand pounds there. <laughs>